Hello, I'm Mermaid Lou, and today we are making a cake. Don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. But what does that have to do with the mermaids? Well, it's gonna be obviously, as the title implies, a mermaidy themed cake or under the sea ocean cake. It's gonna be really cute with shades of blue and white. We're gonna make it look like it has waves. I'm gonna print out a mermaid tail and put it on a stick and we're gonna put that on top. We're gonna put some seashells on this thing and they will be edible. Don't you worry. I'm gonna walk you through the process. I have been decorating cakes for quite a few years now. I started my own little cake business, nothing legit or official, but basically I just uh, started the brand Live With Cake and I would make cakes for people. So let's get started. First, you're gonna need some cake. I'm not gonna show you how to make the cake. We're just decorating cake, so Google a cake recipe and make it. Here we go. Here's some stuff you're gonna need to decorate the cake. We're gonna need some candy pearls. I've got two different sizes. Some sparkly sugar sprinkles. Kind of looks like sugar. Got some in blue. And I've also got a couple of like six lips, but they're like shiny, pearl like. So get yourself a turntable. Cake board. Throw some frosting on that to make sure the cakes will stick. I gotta wash my hands, that's always important. And don't forget an apron. I just bought this dress and I don't want to ruin it, so I really shouldn't be make, decorating a cake in it, but I was already wearing it and it's cute for the video. So, I've oh, got a cute apron. Everything's always better with a cute apron. Now we're ready to put these cakes down. I just only have tiny cakes, but look how cute they are. Normally you would have to cut the dome off, but this cake turned out pretty pretty flat. So this is called stacking the cake. We're gonna put the two layers of cake together, frosting in between, obviously. You wanna put a generous helping of frosting on top. Not too generous. And next we're gonna do what's called a crumb coat, which is basically a very thin layer of frosting to trap in all the crumbs so you don't get a messy look. Next we're gonna put it in the fridge and let it chill for at least 10 minutes. This is called doing crumb coat and chill. You want it to get the frosting get hardened. So it's ready to start frosting. Got a couple shades of blue. Gonna put on some more white frosting. Kind of in little streaks. Kind of blob it on there. Let's not forget the top. Fill in the spots white. Smoothing it.
clean the edges and then clean the sides of the cake board. And now for the fun part. We're gonna take some sprinkles. We're gonna throw them on there. It's okay if you make a mess. And the white sprinkles. Get yourself a pastry bag. Doesn't have to be a real big one. This is a 12 inch one. And this is the tip we're gonna use, one that looks like that. We're gonna get a pretty little design. Kind of like a rosette. Kind of looks like waves. We're gonna make some white chocolate seashells by taking a mold. This one's actually a soap mold, but it works for chocolate. So we're gonna make little seashells. So we're gonna melt the white chocolate over a double boiler. Once you've finished filling your mold, you want to refrigerate until the chocolate is hardened. i put my seashells on top. Now I'm placing some pearls all around. It's kind of annoying because you have to do the pearls one by one and they just keep dropping on you. Runaway pearl. Let's not forget the baby pearls. Let's put these on the edge. Oh, crap, I dropped one. That's also a bummer. I'm gonna do some more of that little swirly pattern. And for the final thing, I printed out a mermaid tail. I'm gonna tape a little stick to it, like a skewer, even a toothpick would work, and I'm just gonna stick it in. Ta-da! You have a mermaid cake. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.